There she goes, look at that. Gave us a little bit of trouble because it's pretty rocky out here. So there's kind of a better picture of the vehicle right there by the bridge. Definitely looks old. There's something in there, a shirt. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a body. You might call them scuba sleuths. Their new hobby went from cleaning up waterways to solving mysteries. And what a great public service. Jeremy Sides and Adam Brown travel the country searching for closure in cold cases. Amazing. The gift of closure to grieving families right. is absolutely priceless. Today we are back in Tennessee searching for missing person Bradley Webb, who vanished August 4th, 2000. He left his residence and took no personal belongings with him, and his vehicle is also missing, a silver or gray 1987 Dodge Daytona. Now last episode we went out and searched Boone Lake nearby and discovered three Chevrolet vehicles underwater. Today's goal is to try to remove some of these vehicles, clean up the water, and look for any further clues for Bradley's disappearance. All right, we're back the next day. Gonna hopefully pull out these cars today. Check out this crazy ramp we gotta go down. I guess it's more like a paddleboard kayak ramp. So we're gonna have to get a game plan on how to get these cars out. All right, in the boat. Let's go mark this thing. I'm pretty sure it's like right there, so I don't know if that wrecker's gonna be able to. I mean, if he thinks he can, I just, it seems like he could park right there. Just send the line. He might be able to back the record down and kind of just 10 point turn it to get an angle. Uh, or he could just, like you said, park at the top of the hill. We just feed a line all the way from there. But yeah. they're like, they're laying like right next to each other. The truck's yeah. a little closer. I think we're going to have to go for the truck, try for the truck. Well, the rear end is facing this way, so we can just find something. Maybe he's got a tow hitch on it or something. All right. Should be right there. That's the truck or the car? Oh man, they're ready for us. So you diving them? Oh my gosh. Well, I told them two cars. Oh, good to meet you, man. Adam. You as well. Tyler, Appreciate I've seen it. some videos. Have you? Okay. I'm sure you know Jeremy. Nug. How are you doing? The reason we're out here is because there's a missing person from 2000 in the, well, I guess it was from uh, Jonesboro or Johnson, there's near. A couple, yeah. So, uh, we, you know, this is kind of the obvious body of water to check, but th these are just. These are not his car. Well, yeah, I have a four-wheel drive wrecker with stiff legs and stuff like that at 550. So I'll be able to get down here. I'll back down on an angle and try to get as straight as I can for a straight line pull. That's always your best. Yeah. Is a straight line instead of a side pull. I mean, there's a few rocks like this size. I don't think that's about as you know in the way. I don't think it's anything crazy, but it does you know it does drop off a little deep. But there's a truck first right there that went straight in. And it's on its wheels. Um, and then there's like a, a car upside down right in front of it, which will be easy because it's, it's not full of mud. The truck's pretty decently Deep. full. That ain't the worst angle, I mean.
I hooked it on the tire, and then I went ahead and put the magnet on the car, and that's the plate of the car. I don't know if that truck has a plate. Well, that one's it. Oh, you found both of them? This is the car plate. It says 21. Would you, uh... So that's been down there at least three years. Did you get the truck first attempt? Yeah, the truck's on the tire. I'm around the tire. Around the axle? Or? Yeah, the axle, yeah. Some tension. I think it's oh, some bubbles. I think it's moving a little bit, right? Oh, it's coming. I'm just hoping there's no big rocks in the path. <laughs> I died. Yeah, she's just looking down at you. <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's see what happens. That should be better. I'm around the right side and under the middle a little bit. Are you gonna want me to snatch block it? You think it'll be fine? We're good now. We got both lines on it. Okay. Close, but it's I mean, it's gonna be. There's gonna be some. Yeah. I mean, I think it's got some big tires. I think are really really helping us. That. that Huh? I think so. <laughs> the car is upside down, so it's probably the roof's probably gonna get really smashed and dragging, but it should be really light. But it ain't gonna roll. This is actually kind of rolling, I think. Worst comes to worst, hook that to the front wheels, and as I'm dragging, it'll flip it back over. On the car? Yeah. Mud like this sucks. Finally, find the car like all my god. There she goes, look at that. It says 04, I think 04 on the license plate. Dang. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Gave us a little bit of trouble because it's pretty rocky out here, but nothing too crazy. Man, those tires still got air in them. <laughs> yeah, look at all the mud in the back of it. That. Is that a little toolbox? Is that a toolbox or a cup? Huh. Snatch block it that way or? Alright. Cool. Never had any doubts in my mind. <laughs> I neither, but I was just, I'm more curious of why that line, well, I know that line has snapped before that, but I can tell you. Yeah, 
Do you think that's a, you, you think it's like a 90s or is it like a 2000 to 2004? Late 90s. I mean, it's not the worst condition for 20 years. I mean, dude, honestly. We, we can take those wheels off and put them on the next Chevy. <sighs> they almost never do. <laughs> Silverado. No, nah. fifteen hundred. We'll put it back down. Dude, sometimes we pull them out; they're covered in lures and stuff, full of catfish, all sloshing around in there. There's a coffee. All right, we got the truck out. Most of the waters you guys can see. Huge thanks to Tyler and Autumn of JB Auto Works towing. We appreciate the help, y'all. Thank you. Wasn't too bad, right? It come up once we got it around all the rocks. It definitely is rocky out here. Problem. I think having these big tires helped a little bit. Yeah, they aren't too big, but... So what's, we're gonna snatch block now to yeah. this tree. And try to pull her, I guess, this way. Yeah, pull it. We'll pull it over here. We'll get it out of the water over here, and then we'll get it up to the top, and I guess we'll uh, start hooking for the second one. Cool, sounds good. Yeah, there's this other super old Chevy over there. Was he, did he tell you about that one? Below the bridge? Yeah. Well, I told her there's Chevrolet car. Yeah, the old ball is sitting there. That thing's never coming out. <laughs> but I mean... We've got connections with the local department that we could probably get somebody with a heavy to park up there and shut down the highway. Well, I, I guess it probably break in half the frame of the metal. I mean, that thing's... Yeah, that one's... It ain't much left of it. It's And it's really buried, though. But... I'm not trying. I don't think it's hurting anybody though, really. It's kind of almost one with the earth at this point. We're gonna snatch block it so it pulls this way, make it a little easier. I bet you could probably get it over that hill if you wanted to, but <laughs> why strain? Why strain the truck, you know? Yeah, pull it here, then we just hook it, lock her in four wheel, and drag her out. Heck yeah. We want to hook onto this one uh, or that one. Well, well, I already took that one off, didn't I? Twenty years. <sighs> I wish I could here. You might be able to grab it right on that side of that one. You think I can hook on that? Yep. Well, yeah. yeah. It worked. Where you want it? I don't know if it's solid enough or if it's been the water Well, yeah, I can just go back on that again if you want. Or are you trying to get that other side? Yeah, but you can hook it back to that. It'll it'll drag sideways. It's going to be fine?
crazy how it's like we got it this far, but now it's giving us the most yeah. hell right now. We need a hook to the front tire and swing it sideways. Yeah, he went off. Yours yeah. to that tire, the front tire. This side. Okay. Okay. Right from up? Well, we're high right now. We're driving in front of the front. We can probably get the front tire. Oh, from here? Yeah. We're both up to the front tire? We both pick up. Now, honestly, we can just do that at first and pull it a little bit. I don't know if that one will. I think, well. That should pull. Yeah, if you pull a little bit. Hook ball up. Let me see that one. Pull. Hold on, hold on. Hey. Give me slack. Keep going. Pull a little. There you go. You got it. Oh yeah. And then I can get right there. Might might hold. There we go. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Give <laughs> me. Oh, oh that one has a window open. <laughs> See I gotta break that window. Dang! Taco Bell night. Taco Tuesday. Good. Hey, is it? Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, you slush hand. Amazing. I hope that doesn't. Well, I wish I could bend it forward more. It's just gonna want to close, and I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. There it goes. Out. I imagine that's gonna help. Right, you you got a shovel? Where is it? I was just trying to see how much mud was still in there. There's still, there's still a good bit in there, but a lot. Well, 
I mean, it's just these rocks. It's nothing. Are you standing up right now? Yeah. Like it should not be this stuff. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's just. I mean, there's these rocks like this big around here. It's just these. I think it's just these rocks, man. on that middle bar is like bent hope the brakes are good on that thing okay, <laughs> i guess it ain't gonna go far just running into the truck <laughs> yeah. yeah it can't slide far with the bed out it doesn't really hit the truck it took, that took way too long tie rods both both them tires are facing each other are they that's oh probably, that's yeah. probably what stopped it in the first place down there then yeah I was gonna catch you, man, I swear. No. You gonna get it on the bed or try to drive no, it? I'm dragging it. We'll drag it up to the top. Dude, that mud is thick. I uh, know. That is heavy. Yeah, we gotta. I think we were smart to dump it like that. Oh. Well, that tire on the right side. All right, so we just got that truck out of the water. Took a little longer than I wanted, but we got it out regardless. Huge thanks to JB Auto Works. And we're going for round two right now. I think it'll be a lot easier, don't you? Yeah, come here. Let me talk to you for a second. Let me show you something. <laughs> don't you think this next one will be easier? I would, I man, I think so. I don't think there's gonna be any mud in it's it. It's upside down, there is no mud. I think it'll be good. Looks like it's about to be showtime. Man, your camera is like always in the way. <laughs> yep. Please tell me it's pulling. <laughs> so we got new lines on here and a lighter car, no mud. Should be way better. Still might hit some rocks, I'm sure. A couple stumps here and there, but. Is that buoy still attached to the top? Yeah. So yeah, you should see the buoy. I think there's some extra slack on it though. It definitely is a steep, steep incline. But if we got that, if we got that other one out, we'll, we'll get this one out. You see it? Oh yeah. Dang, there it is. A cruise? Oh yeah. It did flip itself over. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me it was on its top. You lied to me. It was a flat. I it. swear. <laughs> I 
Well, man, that was so hard. <laughs> we'll use that one. The first one was my training video. Yeah. Well, uh. Now, if we. Yeah, what do you want to do? Pull it up a little bit. We'll hook to the wheel with two lines. I'll move up there and I'll just pull right over the embankment. Alright. Alright. Something in there, a shirt. Hey, hold on one second. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a body. I think you're good. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was bone for a second. Alright. Got this out. Chevy Cruise. Been under the water at least three years. Probably an insurance job, but we'll uh we'll find out soon. Out here in Lake Boone, Tennessee. Oh. 